Hi, it's Mr. Omara here. I'm afraid I'm not wearing cat makeup today. I saw this video on YouTube of this woman explaining something about literacy and she was wearing cat makeup. And I just thought, that's what I'm doing wrong. I should be wearing cat makeup in my videos. I want to talk to you about something we're using today called Trumpet. Now, often when you're looking at a text and people say, oh, just read it and understand it, um, some people have the skills and the experience from largely from wide reading to get their comprehension just happening automatically. But Trumpet is a way to remember some steps you can go through to help you get meaning out of pretty much any text. So we're going to go through. Trumpet is each letter stands for something that you do and you do them pretty much in this order. It doesn't have to be in this order. And eventually you'll work out that some of these things really help you and some of them you don't need to do. And I'll kind of talk a little bit about which each one is. I'm just waving at Riley here through the window. He's going to come and stick his face around the back so that he gets to be in the video. I absolutely guarantee it. So trumpets let's start with t t is for title so there he is i told you he'd stick his head in the back of the video he's just topped up there the title so look at the title or the heading and the pictures of the article and make a judgment just from those things from the title and the pictures what do i think this is about and write that down so that's step one that's the t that's the title and if it's a newspaper article then it's a headline but a headline is just a type of title so look at the title and the pictures what do i think this is about and lots of the times that will help you let's look for r r now so by the way that first one t i think you should pretty much always do this this is a good opening strategy number two r read read the entire text i know that seems like it's from the institute of the bleeding obvious but in actual fact, I'm amazed at the number of people who look at a text and say, I don't get it. And I mean adults as well as students. Oh no, I don't know what this means. It's because you haven't read it. You know what? You have to read texts. Sometimes you can just, you know, that first step, you can look and say, oh, from the title and the picture, this is not something I'm interested in. And that's fine if you're just recreationally reading. But it's not it's not a reading strategy you actually need to read the entire text from start to finish and you know what some people put a ruler under it or they scroll down the page so they're always reading up the top here um, you see people even people in year seven who like put their hand under it not necessarily putting your finger along it like um, you would have in primary school but guiding yourself through the text so read the whole text I can't stress how important that is the U. the U is for underline Underline any words that you don't know. Because some people will just skim over whole sentences if they don't know the words. And that doesn't help you understand it because you just haven't actually read that bit. So underline or highlight if you're on your computer the words that you don't understand. That's the you. Next step, M, you're guessing meaning of these words. Look at the sentence and see if you can work out what the meaning is. You know, an article we did the other day, they talked about the culmination of years of effort. And a number of people worked out the culmination probably means the total or the adding up of. And they were quite right. You don't need to look it up if you can get it from the meaning of the sentence. So M, see if you can guess it from the context of the sentence. And you're not always going to be able to. I've run into words all the time that I just cannot guess from the meaning of the sentence. <coughs> so you might need to look it up in that stage for meaning. Sometimes you just can't guess from context. And you can look it up on your slates. Um, just def type define and the word you're interested in into your browser. Um, secondly, uh, sorry, not secondly, next, P, paraphrase. Paraphrase just means retell something in your own words. So I've got, I've got a sentence saying, you know, this um, win is the culmination of years of hard work. I just say this, they won because of years of hard work. You know, you just retell it in your own words. Because if you can retell it in your own words, then you've got the meaning of that word. So that's what paraphrase is. Pick those sentences, make sure you can say them in your own words. The P is really a test of the M. If you can paraphrase it, you've got the meaning. Second last letter is E. Um, explain the text. <coughs> Sorry, a bit of coffee. Um, explain the text by asking what question is it that this text answers. So if I'm looking at an article about a footy win, then it doesn't answer the question, where can I get a great pizza in Est Geelong? You know, that's not what it is. The text that this question, the question that this text is answering is more like, you know, how did the game go on the weekend? Who won the game? How did they win the game? You know, how did they win after such a long streak? You know, those are the sorts of things that you're looking for. So think, what would I need to be wondering about in order to read whatever this text is? 
because texts are for particular purposes. Then you've got T, which is for telling all the main points in a summary. So you're basically saying, what is the big information in this story? Because stories are built around big ideas and lots of detail that's added in. And a comprehension strategy is to just, just go through it with a pen and just go through and think, yep, that's a really big piece of information. So boil it down to its big three or four pieces of information. And your final S is to share it with somebody. Just another person in the class, just say, listen, here's what I think this article is about. Here are the words I didn't understand. This is what I think. And they might, in fact, say, actually, I don't think that is one of the main points. So listen, let them listen to you and you listen to them. So that's trumpets. T, title. R, read. U, underline. M, meaning. P, paraphrase. E, explain. T, tell. And S, share. So that's trumpets and that's what we're doing today. You'll do the article that we've all given you and then you'll pick another article of your own. So that's it from me and I'll let you get back to work.